Just a little while ago, I finally got my hands on Ryzen Mobile and I was blown away by how much power fits in such a little device as a laptop. Today should be no different. I present my mini ITX build based on Ryzen Mobile's big brother, the Ryzen G series desktop APUs. Let's start with the components. As my main board of choice, I went with the ASRock Fatality AB350 Gaming ITX AC featuring a B350 chipset. Since I want to go budget ITX on AM4, there isn't much room for discussion anyway, since there aren't that many options. Also spending quite a lot more for the X370 chipset, which does nothing. Um, actually, there's a difference. You see, while the X361 has its Type-C and one Type-A port as version 3.1, the ones on the B350 are only 3.0. It wouldn't be a 2018 PC build if it didn't have at least some RGB components. So here I went with the G-Skill Trident Z 3000 MHz memory. But looking at today's RAM prices, I alternatively got a stick of basic crucial 8GB 2133 MHz RAM. More on that later. Now on to the star of the show, the Ryzen 5 2400G. It features 4 Zen cores with SMT enabled for 8 virtual threads. I won't be needing a graphics card since this APU features integrated Vega 11 graphics, which as we will soon see is very much capable of doing some gaming in 1080p on its own. As for the case, I went with the Fractal Design Note 202, a very popular choice for ITX cases since it features a 450 80 plus bronze certified SFX PSU already installed, as well as a big separate department for the graphics card. Wait. I just spent all that extra money for this case and I don't even need half the space. Well, might as well just put a liquid cooler in there. I went with the Arctic Liquid Freezer 240. Now you might think this is stupid. Why put an AIO water cooler on a 65 watt TDP APU? And I'd have to agree. The CPU reached around 60 degrees max on air cooling and with the AIO it didn't even reach 50 so... Let's overclock. My CPU reached 4.1 GHz on 1.4 volts. I don't know if this is some matured 14 nanometer process magic here, or maybe some Ryzen 2000 series voodoo, but it's safe to say I was glad seeing that. I tested the Ryzen 5 2400G on stock with different RAM configurations, since APUs generally speaking always perform better when more and faster RAM is available. First, I tested the APU with 8 gigs of 2133 single channel memory, so you know what you can expect when you buy the cheapest RAM available. I also tested 8 gig 3000 MHz single channel RAM if you wanna spend a bit more money for those extra frames, but are still waiting for RAM prices to deflate and buy another stick in the future. And last, but definitely not least, with 16 gigabytes of 3000 MHz RAM, if you want to go crazy and don't care for the cost. For comparison reasons, I also included results for the Richland FM2 APU A86600K, featuring 4 cores, 4 threads, and featuring stunning AMD Radeon HD 8570D graphics. First up, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Single channel 8GB 2133 MHz gave us an average of 86 FPS with a minimum of 61. Again, single channel 8GB 3000 MHz gave us a 10% improvement raising the average to 95 and a minimum to 73. And as a surprise to no one, 16GB of 3000 MHz in dual channel yielded the best results leading to an improvement of 66% raising the average to 158. This makes APUs for the first time a really solid choice for gaming on 144Hz monitors. Quite impressive if you compare it to the FM2 APU trailing behind with an average of 79 and a minimum of 54. Since this was the most interesting result, I'm just gonna leave you here with the benchmarks to enjoy.
So, what's the conclusion? Well, for around $160 slash euros, this is a serious little chip. Especially in today's GPU market, Raven Ridge is definitely the way to go if you play mainly esports titles. And if GPU prices ever come down to MSRP again, just pop the graphics card of your choice in there and you still got an amazing CPU to pair it with. 2018 is off to a good start. If you're in a hurry and need to take a blood sample, just use your 4 pin CPU header, slip and puncture the tip of your finger. Works just fine as you can see.